signs were a light worker, unleashing your star seed indigo or crystal power. Greetings, cosmic souls. Have you ever found yourself pondering the deeper dimensions of your existence, wondering if there's more to your journey in the vast landscape of spiritual thought? Today, we're diving into intriguing terms like star seeds, indigos, and crystal children each offering a glimpse into a mystical realm intricately connected to our very essence on Earth. These concepts, enriched by the profound teachings of Dolores Cannon, beckon us to explore the profound links between our souls and the cosmos. But before we unravel these mystical labels and their significance, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and join our cosmic community. Your presence adds cosmic energy to our discussions. And for our returning cosmic companions, show some love, give us a thumbs up, share this video with those who might resonate, and let's engage in cosmic conversations in the comments below. Your insights fuel our cosmic exploration. Now I've imagined embarking on a path that unveils the obscure connections to your higher self. A journey of rediscovery to the boundless love and wisdom that define your true nature. Earth, our stage for growth and free will, becomes the canvas for this exploration. If these words resonate with you, you're likely already navigating the path to deeper consciousness, intuitively sensing that your existence transcends the physical. Now let's shift our focus to a grand cosmic phenomenon, the global shift in consciousness. Can you feel the transformation? Our world's vibration is ascending, moving us from the shadows of duality and separation to a future illuminated by heart-centered connections. As you engage with these words, remember that you are an integral part of this extraordinary transition, a key player in this transformative era. In honoring Dolores Cannon, we recognize her not just as a writer, but as an insightful researcher and navigator of human consciousness, bridging diverse realms of understanding. Through her pioneering quantum healing hypnosis technique, she accessed the subconscious of thousands, unveiling groundbreaking concepts that redefine our perception of reality. Prominent among her revelations are insights into star seeds, indigos, and crystal children. If you're encountering these terms for the first time, get ready for an enlightening journey that promises to expand your perspective of reality and your role within it. So let's embark on this cosmic exploration, delving into the realms of star seeds, indigos, and crystal children, discovering what it means to align with these spiritual identities and how they influence our collective and individual paths on Earth. Are you ready for this cosmic ride? Let's dive in. Traits number one, crystal children. Now let's talk about crystal children. The name itself brings to mind a sense of peace, like a crystal reflecting beautiful colors. Among different soul types, crystal children are like the ultimate harmonizers. They're not just about peace, love, and unity. They embody these qualities. Think about that vibe for a moment. Do you feel it resonating within you? If so, you might be closer to the realm of crystal children than you think. According to Dolores Cannon, one of the first things you'll notice about a crystal child is their incredible purity. They come into the world with a sort of otherworldly quality, radiating a deep spiritual wisdom that cuts through the complexities of human life, focusing on a universal language, love. Ever felt a strong pull towards love, a desire to bring harmony and healing? If that sounds like you, you're probably tuning into the same frequency as these incredible souls. While indigos might shake things up, crystal children are all about peace, resonating with vibes of peace, unity, and most importantly, unconditional love. Their peaceful presence isn't just a calm exterior. It's a deep, powerful peace that can heal divisions and mend spirits. And let's not forget their amazing healing abilities, something Dolores Cannon found fascinating. Crystal children often have a natural talent for healing, not just emotional wounds, but even physical ailments that surprisingly get better around them. It's not just about doing healing acts. They carry healing in their very essence. Just being around them can start a process of recovery and comfort. Ever notice that people around you tend to feel better, lighter, and more at peace in your company. But here's the thing, you might also find that crystal children can get overwhelmed by sensory stuff. Their super sensitivity to the world around them means they can intensely feel and absorb the emotions and energies in their environment. 
It's a unique gift, but also a challenge that needs understanding and support for their special needs and talents. Traits number two, starseeds. Now let's dive into starseeds, a pretty fascinating concept in the world of spiritual archetypes. But what are they exactly? Imagine souls, not from Earth, but from other dimensions, planets, or even far off star systems. These souls choose to be born on Earth, bringing loads of cosmic wisdom and experiences from across the universe. Being a star seed is all about having a cosmic mission and purpose here on Earth. Unlike regular human experiences, star seeds are believed to be here for reasons that go beyond our usual understanding of life. They're like cosmic messengers, here to guide, heal, and lift up the collective consciousness of humanity. If you're wondering if you might be a starseed, checking out the signs and experiences linked with this cosmic identity can give you some pretty cool insights. As per Dolores Cannon, starseeds often feel a deep, gut-level connection to the stars and celestial bodies. It's like these cosmic entities are calling to them, making them feel like they belong and have an origin beyond Earth. This connection is a reminder of where they come from, suggesting a cosmic family that still influences their life on Earth. Starseeds often have this strong urge to contribute to something much bigger, to be part of a cosmic plan that involves healing the Earth, sharing spiritual wisdom, or helping humans wake up to a higher consciousness. This sense of purpose is like a preset role they chose before being born on Earth, meant to help the planet grow and wake up its people. Being a star seed is more than just daydreaming about the stars. It's a deep connection of your cosmic consciousness with your own spiritual journey. This identity is a mix of spirituality and activism, where your spiritual insights aren't just for thinking, but for actively making the world a better place. As a star seed, you're not here to dodge Earth's challenges, but to face and enrich them. You're like a catalyst for change, bringing enlightenment and hope. Your presence and actions are important parts of a collective dance that's meant to lift up the Earth and its people to a future that's brighter, wiser, and more harmonious. Traits number three, indigos. Now let's get into the world of indigos, the spiritual warriors and change makers in our mix of soul archetypes. According to Dolores Cannon and others in the spiritual exploration scene, indigos aren't here to just go along with the usual, they're here to shake things up completely. Indigos are like the revolutionaries, the experts at tearing down old systems, beliefs, and ways of thinking. When faced with something that holds back the greater good, indigos don't just sit back and talk about it, they use their huge energy to actively change and rebuild. At the core of an indigo is this almost cosmic sense of justice. It's not the regular idea of fairness, it's way deeper and ingrained. It's about balancing things out, giving a voice to those who don't have one, and standing up for those who usually get overlooked or mistreated. If you feel this strong call to justice deep within you, resonating in your soul, you might be in sync with the indigo vibe. Indigos have this sense of urgency, a trait Dolores Cannon talks about. Their need for change is quick and intense. They don't wait around for slow bureaucratic processes. Their urgency isn't reckless, but purposeful and directed. It's about breaking free from outdated systems, beliefs and traditions, not by tearing them down, but by shaking things up in a positive way. Integrity is another big part of the indigo package. This isn't the everyday integrity society talks about. It's a divine kind of integrity that goes beyond common norms. It's a rock solid force that guides every action, thought and decision. This moral foundation helps indigos stand strong against opposition and stay true even when the world demands compromise. When an indigo soul, armed with a cosmic sense of justice, a drive for immediate action, and an unyielding integrity, meets a world stuck in old ways, they don't just accept it, they question and challenge it. They're the ones always asking why and quickly figuring out how to make things better. If you find yourself questioning norms, traditions, and beliefs that others accept without a second thought, you might be in tune with the indigo vibration. But here's the deal. Indigos also deal with a complex inner world. They can swing between feeling low self-esteem and super confident. This emotional roller coaster reflects the weight of their mission and the intensity of their inner world. 
Digging into the energy of indigos, their role in shaking up and transforming our world becomes pretty clear. With a strong sense of justice, a drive for fast change, and a natural talent for leadership, they question authority and break down barriers. Their journey is a constant evolution, both personally and for the society they are determined to reshape. If these traits and experiences sound familiar to you, you might just be in sync with the indigo spirit, a force for change in a world that really needs it. So, what does this exploration mean for you? It's not just a whimsical journey into metaphysical concepts, it's a call to action. Dolores Cannon's teachings provide a framework to comprehend our deepest urges, the restless need to contribute to society, and the yearning for something greater than ourselves. You don't have to identify as a starseed, an indigo, or a crystal child to be moved by these teachings. The real question is, how will you apply this knowledge? Whether you resonate with these categories or not, the teachings encourage all of us to elevate our awareness. Within you, there may be an indigo spirit passionate about social justice or a crystal child calling out to heal, harmonize, and love unconditionally. You might also find resonance with starseed energy, feeling a cosmic connection and a profound sense of purpose. Embracing your spiritual identity is a transformative journey that significantly shapes your perception of yourself and your place in the universe. Regardless of whether you align with the spiritual archetypes of starseeds, indigos, or crystal children, acknowledging these aspects of your spiritual self opens the door to a deeper understanding of your intrinsic nature and a more profound connection to the cosmos. Understanding your spiritual identity is a journey of self-discovery, allowing you to connect with the deepest aspects of your being. It's about recognizing that your unique perspective on the world might be different, an acknowledgement that can be incredibly validating. This self-awareness is akin to finding the missing piece in a puzzle, bringing a sense of peace and acceptance. Identifying with a spiritual archetype like a star seed, indigo, or crystal child can provide clarity and direction. It's akin to an internal compass, pointing you towards paths that resonate with your deepest self. For instance, starseeds might be drawn to fields like environmental protection or space exploration, indigos to activism or transformative careers, and crystal children to healing professions or the arts. This understanding guides you towards a fulfilling life aligned with your innermost desires. There's also a sense of connection and community in embracing your spiritual identity. Realizing that others share similar experiences can be comforting and empowering. It creates a sense of belonging to a community of souls that understand and share your journey, reinforcing that you are not alone in your perceptions and experiences. Reflecting on these spiritual archetypes can be illuminating. Asking deep questions about your connection to the cosmos, your innate drive for justice and change, or your natural ability to bring peace and healing can reveal overlooked aspects of your identity. This process guides you towards understanding your purpose and place in the world. Remember, you are a miracle, a mystery, a masterpiece. Let your light shine and may your path always lead you to love, understanding, and the profound joy of being truly, deeply connected to everything. For more insights and guidance on your spiritual journey, explore our free book and consider a one-on-one -on -one consultation. The link is available in the description below. Feel free to share your experiences or thoughts in the comments and let's